Hello guys, welcome back to Easy Wall Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Wall Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the frame analysis. In this lecture, we are going to find out the support reactions for this frame. So this frame can be seen that one portion of this frame is inclined and it has the lateral load of 10 kN acting at a distance of 3 meter from this support. And there is a uniformly distributed load of 5 kN per meter over the distance of 6 meter. And the other distance of this, the horizontal distance of this inclined portion of the frame is 4 meter. So we have to find out the support reactions for this frame. So let's consider this is support A and this is support B. So this is a roll support, so it has the property that it can only resist the vertical load. So I will name it, let's suppose this is RA. And this support is a hinge support, so it can take both the vertical load, RBY, as well as it also take the horizontal load, RBX. So this was our first step to show and to give the names of their reaction. So RA, first of all, let's suppose we want to find out the RA. So we have to take this the summation of moment at point B equal to 0. So all the moment about point B will be equal to 0. Now let's suppose that the clockwise moment is taken as positive and the anti-clockwise moment is taken as negative. This is just the sign convention. So the RA will create a clockwise moment about point B. If we look to this force it is acting in upper direction so it will create clockwise moment here about point B. So it will be a clockwise, so Ra will be positive, multiplying with the momentum. The momentum will be the distance from this Ra up to the B point, which is this whole distance 4 meter plus 6 meter, it means the 10 meter. And also, there is this force which is acting here, in the, and it will create the moment in the anti-clockwise direction about point B. So it will be negative, minus 10 multiplying with the momentum. The momentum will be the distance from this point up to point B. So the, it is the vertical distance from this point up to this which is 2 meter. So it will be the 2 meter. Now also there is a uniformly distributed load which will create the moment about point B. So it will be it creates moment in the anti-clockwise direction because it is acting downward and will create anti-clockwise moment about point B. So it will be again negative minus 5 multiplying with the whole distance on which it is distributed. It is distributed over the length of 6 meter. 6 multiplying with the momentum. The momentum will be the half of this distance which will be 3 meter. Because first we convert this distributed load into concentrated load. So now this will act at the mid of, mid of this 6 meter length. So it will be the half of 6 which is 3 meter. So that's why we wrote it here 3. Summation of all moment about point B is equal to 0. Now sim simply shift this value into the right side. So we got 10 Ra equal to the 20 plus and this comes out to be 90. So 10 Ra comes out to be 1, 10 and Ra comes out to be 11 kN. So the Ra comes out to be 11 kN. So the reactions acting in upper direction at point A is 11 kN. Now to find out RBY, we can take help from this equation that the summation of vertical forces are equal to 0. We can use this equilibrium equation in order to find RBY. So let's suppose that the force is acting in the positive direction and the upper direction are taken as positive and forces acting in downward direction are taken as negative. Now, RA is acting upward, so it will be taken as positive. RB is, RBY is also acting upward, so it will also be taken as positive. And this is a force which is acting downward, is a distributed load, so it will be considered acting in downward direction, so it will be taken as negative. So minus 5 multiplied with the distance on which it is distributed, so it is distributed over the distance of 6 meter, so 6 equal to 0. So summation of all the vertical forces are equal to 0. So we know that Ra is 11 kN. So Rby will be equal to the, if we shift this into the right side, it will be 30 minus Ra 
that means 30 minus 11 comes out to be 19 kilonewton. So RBY comes out to be 19 kilonewton. So this, these are the two vertical reactions acting in the upper direction in order to resist the vertical load. Now this horizontal load will be only taken by this support because roll support cannot take the horizontal load. So we can find similarly here summation of horizontal force is equal to zero. So let's consider this force. The force acting in this direction is taken as positive and the force acting in this direction is taken as negative. Now this 10 kN is acting in the positive direction so it will be plus 10 kN and the force Rbx is acting in this direction so it is taken as negative minus Rbx equal to 0 so Rbx is equal to 10 kN so it means the only horizontal the horizontal load is taken by only this support and its magnitude is 10 kN so hope you guys understand how to find out the support reactions for any inclined beam just by using this equilibrium equation you can find out the support reaction easily hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching our video